did Boogie try to bully you guys? Oh yeah, that's, that's Boogie's personality, his mentality. He thinks he's the best every time he's on the court. I think Nick Richards was guarding him, and I'm not gonna lie, he was frying Nick. Like he was really killing Nick, but it was good for Nick. Uh, Nick's not really gonna be guarding like he'll be guarding bigs like that, but shooting bigs like that, I mean, you don't really find those. And like, Marcus is hitting half court threes and step back threes, and I don't think Nick's never guarded anybody like that. So it was a good test for Nick, but the Marcus cousin definitely came in and tried to punk us. Uh, he got a couple scraps with a couple of uh, Pelican players, even on his own team. So, but that's just how he is. Every time he step on the court, he's gonna get into some type of scrap. Was he talking to Nick? Oh yeah, he talks. Yeah. He talks a lot of trash. Anthony Davis is kind of laid back. He didn't really say much, but he plays really hard. But definitely, Demarcus is definitely talking a lot of trash to Nick. How was it eye opening yeah. to see how competitive it was? Yeah. If, if you want to reach that level, how you have to? Win? Yeah, it was definitely competitive. I mean, we we kind of put a, a together a team and played against their starting five, and it was really competitive. I mean. We got up and down a lot. We won the first game actually, and then they started picking it up a little bit. They got real competitive, but it was good to play against uh, play against them and for them to rough us up a little bit, take some of their uh, communication skills and put it on our team so we can take that and play against other teams like that. It sounds like it was competitive. It was real competitive. What do you think that says about what mm -hmm. you guys could do? You know? Yeah, I mean, I think it's good for us because now we know that we can we can keep up with some of the NBA guys that we should be able to keep up with most college teams. I mean. A lot of college teams are really good, but if we can play like how we play against the Pelicans, I think we got a really good shot at, at beating a lot of good teams this year because we're really competitive. Nobody on this team likes to lose. Uh, we always want to come in first place in all the runs and all the drills. So if we can put that together as a team, I think it would be a really good, a really good solid team this year. Did Anthony Davis mention to you that his championship year that that summer they played against? I think it was the Oklahoma City Thunder came in I, here. And I, they think Cal, I think Cal. I think Cal did tell us that when Anthony was here, the Thunder came and played against them and. Anthony Davis said their team did, did really well, actually, too. So, I mean, it's good for Cal has the NBA guys because a lot of Kentucky NBA guys in the uh, league, so they can always come back, bring their team back, and play against the team. So that's, that's definitely a, a really good thing I like to do is play against older guys if I can take some of their things, take Cal, some of their moves. Cal said your practice yesterday, your, your personal practice yesterday, uh, made him stop panicking a little bit about this team. Yeah. What did you do, do you think? Could you, could you feel that you were having a breakthrough the way he described it? Uh, yes, I had, a, I had a really good practice yesterday. I mean, I was really aggressive going to the basket. I was knocking down shots, communicating on defense, rebounding the ball really well. Me and Hunter did a really good job of that yesterday. And Cal, he was, he was really loving it. But after practice, he said it was one of the best practices I had. So, I mean, if I keep practicing like that, I think we're really good. We can get everyone to practice at 100, 110%. I think when, the, when our first exhibition game comes, our first real game comes, we should be really, we should be good. He said, he kind of said that he doesn't want you settling for the jump shot. Yeah. Why have you settled for the jump shot? Right. Yeah, I mean, in high school, I shot a lot of jump shots uh, because I was just always bigger. I was an alpha dog, basically. And coming here, Cal don't really like jump shots like that unless it's a pull up or a floater type. So I got to get used to his playing style. And because in high school, my high school coach wanted us to shoot nothing but threes and jump shots, high paced offense. Cal wants high paced offense, but going to the basket. So I just gotta, I just gotta change my playing style, and which he still wants me to shoot the ball, but he wants me to do a mixture of both, show people that I'm a six nine guard that can be able to shoot the ball and drive to the basket from the perimeter. So I've done a really good job of that lately. I'm starting to get pick it up more. So I'm just keep doing it, and hopefully Cal just not panic as much as he is. <laughs>